Hey guys, welcome to Free Running. And today it is Insetic, Blank Tester, and Bio Enchanted. Hello. I should say that all footage of this game is recorded by Bio Enchanted and sent to us. Yeah, because. The game is PAL only, apparently, or really hard to find um, Which, in the yeah, Americas. So today's, by... today's game is brought to you by the letter R, as in region locked. Yeah. Fuck region locking. So, BioEnchanted um, has a PAL copy, he recorded it, sent some footage to us, and he'll also be here to kind of, you know, walk us through the game and explain anything we have to ask. And my first question is, why was that loading screen so long? That was extremely Because long. it's a PS2 game. Oh, that's... Rebellion? Oh, come on. Ah, uh, I guess that explains it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. I don't know how to feel about Rebellion. This game's actually pretty good. If that surprises you, then fine, but I it's don't know, actually... Like, ha some things Rebellion has done has been really good, and other things Rebellion has done has been utter shit. Well, this is on the really good spectrum. The controls are yeah. fairly responsive. Uh, as you can see from the ease of which I actually do some of the controls, it requires me to do. Yeah, like deleting your profile um, and things man, like that. Man, yeah. deleting your profile was pixel perfect. Yeah, you... you definitely, um, uh, uh, I don't have a joke for this. Just <laughs> yeah. pretend I made a joke. But I mean, Bio and Janet sent me footage through, like, the first three levels, and yeah, they actually look like things are fairly responsive, and the levels give you quite a bit of opportunities, but yeah. we will, you know, take a few videos to get there. Because, uh, this will be, this whole video will be tutorial, right? Yes, it's to, uh, show how the controls generally work, and how the animations look. And also to introduce you to a particular person who'll be showing up as soon as this loading screen's over. But again, Rebellion, so it might take another year or two. Yeah, they uh, they expect gamers to take a five-minute snack break hey between there. every... Oh. My name is Sébastien Foucault. I practice the art of free running or parkour. It is the art of fluid motion through an urban environment. Those who practice parkour are known as tracers. You want to become a tracer, don't you? Why else would you be here? Do you want Sébastien to teach you? Let's start with a few basic moves, just to get you warmed up. I'm going to set you eight training lessons. Each one will teach you a basic parkour technique. Pass all eight lessons, then come back to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in reverse. No, oh, blah, 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 blah. no you don't even... You, no, it's not so like this you... is how the game actually moves around. You can get a chance to see the gym itself and also the speed the character moves at. Oh shit, why is this so slow? Because I'm not sprinting, because I didn't oh, want okay. to miss any of the markers. It's, oh, yeah, it's God. a light jog. He That's speeds up speed. when he's doing tricks and doing stuff like wounds. I mean, just his general uh, run is kind of an amble. That's more to give you a chance to respond to what's going to happen. Because if you were sprinting all the time, it would go re really fast and be hard to control. So. Oh my god. Is that just your regular jump height? Yes. Your dude Have is you like, ever seen someone parkour? Your dude man? is like Master Splinter or something. That's insane. He could vault over me. Well, he <laughs> is known for his abilities as a trade server as well as a turtle ninja master rap thing. Yeah. No, you know what? In the future, tracers will become zombies and they'll become trancers. Oh god. And then Jack Death will hunt them down. You know, it's weird. Most bad artists in this universe are actually called free runners. Yeah. I haven't really heard the, you know, tracer use yeah, before. Yeah, I'd forgotten I'm... it was a thing actually until I started replaying this. <laughs> I don't really follow the scene. All I've seen of free running are some bad Netflix movies. Yeah. They're not necessarily Netflix movies, but they are movies. I just want to mention runs. the breakfall is very important. It's what keeps you moving if you land particularly hard. Like if you're falling from a particular height, a breakfall can often keep you moving while also preventing you losing too much health. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so you break your fall instead of breaking your knees. Yes. I like to keep moving and not be. So instead of landing on your feet and having year. a small sort of springing motion, you land on your neck. It's yeah. the way it works. Yeah. You hit a really bad landing and you actually hear the bones break. And then your guy just sits in a wheelchair. Mortal Kombat free running. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's the Blitz the League of free running. It zooms in and you see the bones snap in half. It's called the uh, extremality. Yeah. These, some of these jumps can be pretty difficult. If you accidentally go a little bit too far off the edge, you'll end up gripping on it, and that can be a death sentence when it comes to speed stuff. 
So I mean, you're kind of you're kind of going through the like I guess the controls a little fast. Yeah. But I'm seeing like some standard you know X button, but some like X and circle. Are you like able to remember these fairly well, or yes? You know, or is there so uh, much stuff that X in the moment allows you're, like, you to land things? perfectly on something like narrow, like this ledge, for example. Uh, or if you're falling somewhere where there's a wall in the way so you can't break fall, the X will allow you to do an a, a accurate landing and not stumble all over the place like an idiot. Circle mm. is to do general jumps and jumping abilities, like your jumping tricks and stuff. Triangle is ground tricks when used along with the uh, shoulder buttons. And square is mainly break fall and sprint. Sprint you'll see later. Sprint can be very hard to use because Often because of the blur effect, it can be kind of hard to react to things, but you'll see that when you see it. Those now it's just me showing off one of the hops. <laughs> so things are, you know, pretty intuitive, like yeah. X is usually for kind of foot stuff, you would say. You yeah, know, X is for climbing. climbing and stuff like that, and wall running. So it's not like you need to like memorize all these combinations, because you can kind of sort of, there's sort of a system for yeah. remembering Yeah, the memorization okay. only really comes in when it comes to doing certain tricks to get high scores later on, but for a lot of the challenges, scores aren't actually the important part. The important part is beating the clock. There yeah, are, right. Of course, a lot of the score ones are very difficult later on. It depends on how big an area they give you to work with. <laughs> of course, if there's a wall, you crash into it, you lose your entire combo and get really annoyed with the game. And I and I hope that like we'll see some of the some of the combo work in the tutorial. Yeah, so the abilities themselves are fairly basic, but the way you can string them together oh, makes you friend. feel really awesome when I you're doing you're well at something. The next level of yeah. training. I mean this uh, this is seventeen minutes long. This looks like a pretty extensive tutorial. Yeah, it's teaching you all the basic things you'll need, including some of the more advanced skills later on. Yeah, because sometimes, sometimes games just, like, drop you out of the tutorial without even teaching you anything, really. Yeah, yeah I, I don't really know what, I don't know what's a good balance. There's, there's games that have, like, tutorials that are just real, real short, and, uh, they don't tell you anything you didn't already know. Yeah. Left stick to move around, and then you're, like, done. And then there are other games where it, like, drops a whole bunch of advanced techniques on you that you will need to do much, as much later. As speed. Yeah, I, this I one, it does a pretty good job of you always needing a lot of the advanced stuff, even fairly early in the game. Like, the very first level, for example, uh, which will come next video, doesn't really require some of the really advanced stuff. But by, say, uh, level 3 or beyond, you'll be glad you have them. And that you've had the chance to practice them before you're meant to actually use them properly. Here's the main thing with this game, is wall running. You'll be doing a lot- well, I'll be doing a lot of this. You'll be doing none of it, we get the idea. <laughs> Excuse me, I'll be following along with this video, one to one. Yeah, he'll have his controller not plugged into anything, but he yeah. will be trying to time his button presses yeah. so that he feels- No, he'll be doing it in live action. He'll be outside in the work. park watching this, just breaking his legs, trying to do all this stuff. Oh, yeah. He'll have it on his phone in front of him while he's running up walls and stuff. And he won't look where he's going because he's looking at his phone. Yeah. yeah. These kind of areas can be kind of tricky to navigate when you're off on high ledges that are very narrow because occasionally the camera can get a little bit weird. I can see that in your turning radius. Yeah, really this bad. is really hard to do well, as you can see there. You have to be really accurate. If you accidentally nudge the analog stick, you're going flying. Wow. This is what I mean you know, by sprinting being kind of tricky to work with at times because they don't always give you that long a runway. You never get that long a runway. Yeah. Hmm. You know, I don't know why I was expecting this, but when you jumped off and just started falling to the ground below, I half expected time to, like, start rewinding and you see a little counter of sand going away. No, 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 no. they got sued for that. <laughs> That's not how that happened. <laughs> yeah. That only happens in the sequels. This was just an alternate universe where the character didn't break both of his knees. Yeah. Prince of the Bronx. <laughs> yeah, Prince Damn. of the Bronx, yeah. Man. That sounds like some BET original movie. Oh, wow. It probably is, and it probably has a lot of Parker stunts in it. I'm pretty sure The Prince of the Bronx is just Prince. <laughs> like, the, the musician. Oh, Prince. it's like a concert one night only? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he is the Prince of the Bronx. He's Prince. Yeah. I don't know. It sounds like one of those, you know, growing up in a tough neighborhood, gotta deal with, you know, life problems. I feel like the character for free running should be one of the unlockable characters, in, or one of the unlockable skins in, uh, in Super Smash Bros. Instead of uh, for a Wii Fit trainer. Just look at him. 
I can just wow. imagine Wii Fit trying to make you do this sort of stuff. That would be hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, it's the next yeah, level. Yeah, it's like the 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 balance board also has like a couple steps to it, and it also has like a bar that you can swing yeah. on. And you that's have to something do all to that notice. Too. If you don't start your tic tac at just at the right height, you'll often either fall short because you're not expecting to, or you'll end up just fumbling, grabbing the ledge like an idiot, and losing a bit of time. That can be really hard to kind of get sometimes with some of the more finicky ones. That's oh. the precision landing. That's what I meant by if there's a wall in the way that you can't just break for that. Great work, Twinkle Toes. Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> so I mean, in the tutorial, this probably isn't going to change much. But what is the uh, what is the thing on the bottom left? Kind of the human that in red. That is the uh, health meter. If you take too big a fall, for example, uh, you will lose a lot of that. Uh, the green meter is the flow meter. That shows how good you're keeping your flow. Because you saw it was going up for every. Uh, uh, increments of score and uh, blue I think is the adrenaline meter which uh, controls boosts and things huh see I kinda thought I don't know I kinda thought the green and blue were sort of doing the same thing especially because they're both feet you know I figured the red was probably your embarrassment meter and it would fill up when you realize you look like a complete fucking idiot because you're parkouring all over the place. Yeah, yeah and then you uh, jump over a massive crane and you're just like, yes, yes, my embarrassment meter is empty now because that was badass. I mean, and then it fills all the way back up when you front flip over a fence and the gate is two feet to the right. You're right. To create a or you flick the stick you just a tiny bit it. to the left, and you've jumped completely to your death. Yeah, they yeah, call that the uh, they call that trick the gate to the dentist's office. You die. Yeah, you, you're dead. You can't be embarrassed. Right. Yeah, if, if, if that was like, a, yeah, if that was a if Tony Hawk, like, oh, sorry, if that was a Tony Hawk gap, it would be called gainer to morgue. Yeah. The highest level do you of have to do the full you. tutorial to go Eight to the next level? Uh, and no, there's only three, and I thought it was a good way to Eight show off everything. I, I don't yeah, know sure. if you have to do tutorials, because I never have not done it, because it's a good way to get into the controls and get the hang of things oh. for when, for example, a recording game you haven't played for a bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess an extremely advanced tutorial is fine if they allow you if they don't need you to go through every part of it. Yeah. If maybe you just need to... Wow. Yes, I completely flag. missed because I am a dog. <laughs> Luckily, they give you plenty of time to come back for it. Your embarrassment embarrassment meter fills all the way up. <laughs> You're right. See, that would be a time when your embarrassment meter would fill up. Yeah. Well, mine just especially. Did. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you're in the gym, like you're practicing right now, but maybe you're in the gym for one of those I don't know, like middle school assemblies where they bring in, you know, oh some God. cool guy to do tricks or whatever. Like you remember those yeah. really, really like low budget BMX things? Yeah, that was that just me being really bad at Baranis at this point. But there we go. I managed to sell salvage that one. Hmm. See, I didn't really know that all of these had. Names, really. Yeah, I mean, neither like, did I, so I started really uh, playing this. That's what. Wait, wait. You're telling me that you thought p people who were into parkour looked at cool tricks and went, yeah, man, that was really cool, do that one again. Uh, one thing to notice here, it can be kind of hard to, when it comes to doing, like, making it distinguish whether you press the button once or twice. You have to be very distinct about whether you push it twice or not. So you have to kind of leave a bit of a gap. The controls aren't perfect, but they uh, suit what the game's trying to do. They seem like they're kind of finicky, but once you get used to them, they're yeah, fine. They can be. It's, well, when you know how the animations look and how the timing of... Climb like a dealing. deer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cute too, major joke. Yeah, thank you, game. <laughs> it's uh, I can't get yeah. over how far your guy jumps. Like, it just doesn't seem yeah. realistic to me. Your dude's got to be wearing like Air Jordans or something, you know. I don't think that would help that much. He's got the moves like Jordan. Well, did he hit, well when he starts normal level, he starts with "Here we go." <laughs> you can jump three times in a row to uh, jump like thirty feet in the air. Yeah, I, I have expected. Yeah, I end up using that to break a few of the levels later on. Hmm. All right, let's see what we got. Slingshot nine. Whoa. Uh, Okay. That was awesome. That's really good for keeping flow and also not flying off the edges of buildings like a complete moron. Well, I mean, sometimes that works for you. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, yes. like, what if you wanted to try flying? You know? Yeah. 
all you gotta do is, you know, jump, jump at three the times while wearing the right hat. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, you jump at the ground and then you just miss the ground. You keep on falling, and that's what flying is. Yeah. And that's where brick fall can really be handy. Long drops like that. Because I would have lost yeah. a lot of health if I'd just eaten it. It would have been funnier though if you. <laughs> yeah. Know, like, we could have all laughed. On your face. We could have all gone. Uh, 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 look, at, look, look at this fucking guy. That's how we would laugh. That's our normal. Real laugh. That was pretty swank. I guess so. Man, I can't help but notice that your guy seems to have like tucked the back half of his pants shorts into his butt crack. <laughs>